Welcome back to my lure box. In today's video, I'm going to take you through some of the simplest lures to use, and they're some of the most effective as well. So if you've got kids wanting to get their lure game going, or if you're having a hard time of it yourself, I reckon you might get pointed in the right direction with this video. I'm going to share with you some of the tactics on how to use them, where to use these different lures that I've got, and why they're so effective. So uh, the lures that I've got here for you, I've done reviews on. So if you want more information on them, there's reviews on each of these lures. So get your pen ready to write down some of the details because these lures might just be a game changer. They might save you heaps of time on the water and catch you more fish. The first lure I'm gonna to talk to you about, I've probably got five here. This is the latest release lure of the lot. This is a, a soft prawn by MMD, and these things are just dynamite, especially on brim. Now I've caught bass, I've caught trevally and flathead. They'll catch just about everything, these little, little prawns. But uh, let me show you up close what they look like. They're just a beautiful representation of a tiny little shrimp or a prawn that you might find in an estuary or a creek and the lightly weighted 2.1 gram version of these are super easy to fish if you're in a kayak or a boat i'd suggest or if you're in really tight creeks where you can cast you don't need distance casting then these light little prawns are probably in my book at the moment the best lure in the country for getting some fish if you're wanting to get started or get your kids going and they catch lots of brim and brim are everywhere. They're in abundance all through our canals and estuary systems. And these things get it done. They're a very special lure. And uh, they don't have a lot of action. And this is one of the things that when I first did a review on this, there were people commenting saying, why, why is this thing so good? It doesn't have any action to pull the fish in. It's all in the profile and the way that this thing moves through the water which I, I guess you can call it its action. It's so realistic and it's just got a, a super slow sink that the brim can't resist it. So the way you fish this is with a uh, really light line, sort of six pound line, and uh, it's ideal to fish it with braid, I would say, or if you've got super light fluorocarbon and you know what you're doing. Um, but yeah, a light four to six pound braid with a six pound leader. And if you can toss those things around structures, um, like little rock walls or little points under and around bridges then you're going to do really well and they're a lot of fun to fish if you're not quite sure what to get as a starter and your kids are just wanting to go around canals and throw lures that will be one of my first choices at the moment they're hard to get i think mick's getting more in in the next couple of weeks um, mmdfishing.com.au i think is where you can get them or just type in mick molnar fishing and his page will come up so those little soft prawns have got to be one of the best out at the moment. And if you're not convinced, check out some of the uh, MMD soft prawn videos. Just type MMD soft prawn my lure box into YouTube and uh, the reviews and some videos will come up with these things. And my mate Muzz, who doesn't get a lot of time on the water fishing with these and he gets into double figures, no dramas at all. So um, if, you want, if you're wanting action, it's got to be these soft prawns, I reckon, as a start. Um, as long as you don't need distance casts. So if you, if you can just get a 10 metre cast in and that'll do the trick for you, there we go. Right, we'll move through some other soft plastics and then I'll talk to you about a couple of other options. Now, this lure here is a Z-Man diesel minnow. These things have been made famous because they just catch absolutely everything. They are dynamite on flathead and one of the best, if not the best lure for mangrove jack on the market for a uh, soft plastic lure. So the, the way that you can rig these to make them super easy to fish is with one of these snake lock systems jig heads. And when I'm fishing for mangrove jack, I tend to use a 3 8 of an ounce jig head. And I think it's a 2 -o or a 3 -o hook there. Uh, I'll give you a look at what it looks like unrigged. That's the little snake lock system there. It's got the weight um, written on the side of it. And that is a super weedless presentation, really effective in the water. And uh, whether it's flathead or tr even trevally, but mangrove jack, even bass are gonna grab this thing. The little weight dives into the mud or the sand, and then this thing just moves about in the current. You can even just you know slow roll and cruise these things back to the rod tip, and you can fish just about any way you want, and you're gonna get flathead. Um, jacks need a little bit more of a nuanced retrieve. You wanna sit it down, down in the strike zone a little bit more and hop it around the snags and things. But that TT snake locks, 
with a four inch or even three inch diesel minnows by Z-Man, that's what they are. That's gotta be one of the easiest and uh, snag resistant lures. So if you're fishing around heavy structure, you wanna tick off your first mangrove jack. Um, these are one of my go-to baits regardless, even now with all the luring options and skip casting options and everything that I've got, these are still one of my, my go-tos for flathead and for jacks. Uh, but for kids that are throwing in and you're sick and tired of getting them snagged or uh, you know tangled up and things, these things are almost foolproof, and they're just going to make for a much easier session if you're, you know, if you've got your son or your daughter out there throwing lures with you. Um, I had a weekend with uh, with my nephew a couple of weeks back, and this just made it a much easier, hassle-free session. And he got an estuary cod as well, which was great. His first, so yeah, these are fantastic. I can't rate these highly enough. And uh, if you haven't fished with them, get yourself a, a couple of packets of these. I love the sort of the pearls for mangrove jack, the red shads, calico candy, um, opening night colour. But they all work. They, there's no question they all work on their day. So, um, yeah, they're the TT snake locks. And for flathead, I'll use like a quarter ounce. For jacks, I'll go a three eight. And uh, that's how you rig it. I'll show you if you want just quickly. They're super stretchy, so they last, you know, you can get a couple of sessions out of these as long as you don't leave them in the sun because they'll melt or put them up against other plastics. They'll just melt everything and I'll do your head in at that. So you've got to keep them in their packet. But the way you rig it is you just pin the chin of the diesel minnow like that with the hook and then pull it on, shunt it over that little chin lock and it sits like that can see that and then you just line it up it's got a beautiful little belly slit and it's got a dorsal slit that it lines up with as well like locators so you can't really get it wrong with these which is just the beauty of these and then you just poke it through the belly slit out through the dorsal slit and then that sits flat you want it sitting pretty much flat and then have that hook just hidden in that dorsal slit there, the hook point, and it'll be exposed as soon as that flatty grabs it, it becomes exposed, and they've got a great hook up rate, these things. There's no problems with them because they're so soft. Even though that little snake lock's hook is pointed up in the water and hidden, they still catch absolutely everything and they rarely miss. They're a lot of fun to fish with and really easy. And uh, you can be guided by the distance of cast that you want or how easy or how uh, experienced your kids are with their casting as to how heavy you go. Three eighths is a really good all rounder weight. All right, so another one that's in the same sort of ballpark as that. These are these Storm 360 GT Coastals. These are called Biscay Shads. And uh, I've done some reviews on these. I've got a video on catching flathead, cracking flathead in the weed it's called. And I'm using these Biscay shads and these things are fantastic on the bass as well if you have a look I'll just uh, I'll pop a packet open for you but have a look at that little potty mullet little whiting pattern they're just going to work and they do they're fantastic especially if you're fishing around weedy patches or if you need to get down deep um, so example for an example uh, if you're fishing in the dams then uh, you know and there's bass that are holding deep these Biscay shads They've got a 19 gram head. Beautiful head at that as well. Look at the finish on that. But they're weedlessly rigged and they've got like this swinging hook system at the back that allows you uh, just to hang onto the fish a little bit more so it's not pinging, hinging and pin, pinching off that jig head. And then it's weedless. So it just hides in the body like that. And you can peg these things a mile. A beautiful little paddle tail, a great finish and profile. These Biscay Shads, they've, I reckon they've gone a little bit uh, undetected under the radar for how effective they are. Look at the finish on the head. Beautiful eye there, the pattern. And the, the plastic fits beautifully onto that jig head. It's all been made as one system. And it's got like a little twist lock in there to hold the plastic in place so you're not having to re-rig it and push it back up all the time if it's not quite sitting properly. You can bash these things through the weed. I've fished them all day before and just used one and uh, caught plenty of flathead. They're not as strong as the Z-Man's materials, but they're just as, uh, just as effective on the flathead. I think they're fantastic, these things. 
So if your kids want something they can peg out across the flats, which is great if they're land based fishing, uh, because you want to get distance away from your feet so you can get onto some of those really big flathead, these are a great way to go. And you can just punch them through the weed. So that's the Biscay Shad from Storm 360 GT Coastal. And uh, they come in a whole heap of great colours and that sort of thing. Yeah, but that's what they are. Oh, you can see a little bit of the internals there on the back of the packet. It's got some details on how to rig it, although it comes rigged in the packet. You can buy spares and things like that. Um, all right. Now, if, if your kids are going fishing or you're going fishing and fishing on the flats and you're sick and tired of toadfish picking your plastics apart, which is one of the headaches you might get with, you know, with any of these, or even you know, if you're fishing across flats with one of these little soft prawns, sometimes you bring it in and the tails are all gone and you're like, what was that? I didn't even feel that. It's a toadfish. Could be toadfish just wrecking all of your soft plastics. So one of the ways around that is with one of these little beauties. And this is a Rio's prawn. And I think if you, ha if you get onto Rio's lures um, online, I think that's the best way to get them. There's only a couple of stores that still stock these things on the shelves. But um, I'm pretty sure Rio's still selling these out of Tawantan, just north of Noosa. And these things are fantastic on catching school size flathead for me. And I've used these over the years. They're the, they're the way that I got into my flathead fishing and land based casting for flatties because they've got a little weight in there. They're made of resin and they look just like a little yabby and they just work beautifully. You can fish them as slow as you like, so if your kids are learning to cast and it's taking them time to get the bail arm over and the lure's sinking down to the bottom, then um, there's absolutely no issue with that, fishing on the flats. And uh, they won't get picked apart by these toadfish and they'll just work on the little flatties. They love them. So I use like a little hop-hop technique and uh, the, the angle on the front of that little prawn We'll just pull it up off the bottom and then it's got a great little fading action back down and the flathead come over and grab it at that. So a little six pound setup, you know, six pound leader and six pound uh, braided line on, you know, anything. A little 2,000, 2,500 size reel and a seven foot rod is just perfect. You know, a two to four or three to five kilo rod, something in that range is just perfect for these lures. If you're chasing flathead and that sort of stuff, trevally. Um, you know, my mates have even pulled Trevally trolling these things behind a boat. So, uh, yeah, they're a great little option, yeah, especially if you're copping the toadies. All right, what else have I got here? This might be the last one to show you. I want to show you a topwater lure, and um, it was a toss up between a sugar pen and one of these MMD splash prawns. But um, I've gone with this because I think. Well, firstly, this has been designed by Mick Molnar, who's an Aussie bloke, and um, it's, a, it's a beautifully designed lure, and I reckon it's gonna catch a bigger range of species. I'm gonna get shut down for that because those sugar pens do it the same. But this thing is great just at a rest. So as a lure for a kid, if they're starting to throw top water lures, and they haven't quite got their game down with their retrieve and things, this is a much more forgiving lure with the retrieve. So you can literally throw it out and leave it there or fumble about with it or just straight roll it back, really slow roll and it looks just like a shrimp. And uh, I've been belted, I've had some great sessions on jacks with these things and um, I've even caught flathead on these things. I've caught trevally, uh, Mick's always posting pictures of whiting and um, the bass love these things. They catch absolutely everything and they're super easy to fish. Um, they are pretty light, so you need about a, that six pound or eight pound range uh, set up for, to be able to get the casting distance that you're after. As a top water option to get your kids excited so they can see it all, it's super visual, the way these things get bashed up or sucked down off the surface, it's a lot of fun. And uh, if you've got sand flats or shallow little areas of weed and rock bars and things like that, these things are just fabulous. So you can fish them in a whole range of areas. Um, I throw them around the mangroves for jacks and they're fantastic. But um, yeah, if you're wanting to get into your lure fishing or if your kids are interested and you're wanting to get them going, maybe a little MMD splash prawn as a top water option. Maybe these little soft prawns in the light version. Uh, as long as, you know, if you're in a kayak or a boat, it's easy peasy. But if you're down by a canal, then, um, you know, maybe a, maybe a, uh, Holtz production prawn with a quarter ounce head as an option, the, the new small ones. Um, I reckon they're gonna catch plenty of fish. 
All right, let me know what you think. If you've got a lure that you reckon is super easy to fish and I haven't touched on it and it's really effective, can you put it in the comments below? And um, yeah, if your kids are into it or you're just getting started and you've got some questions, you can leave questions in the comment section of this video and uh, I'll do my best, my very best to get back to you. Um, otherwise, there's heaps of great people on this platform now that are sharing their ideas and I'm sure they will if I don't. Um, but yeah, I read all the comments and I'll try to get back to as many as I possibly can. So you're more than welcome to leave a question down there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to get back into some fishing and keep bringing some more fishing action to you in the next few videos. I'll see you in the next one.